How do you swerve and kiss? <laughs> you big face them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cheated before. <laughs>
Thank you. So you have everything? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. morning I was such in a rush I didn't record what I was doing at the gym but we're going to open a PR I never open PR packages with you guys so I figured I got one today so let's open one together I have no idea where this is from or what this is Here my guy, why is it so hard to open? I'm struggling. I tried this scent at Sephora. They have it at Sephora where you can check it out. From London's Convent's Garden direct to you. So cute. This is what it looks like when you open the box. Flora Street, we're a modern British brand. We match your scent to your mood. We're passionate about sustainable ingredients and their environment. Our packaging is comfortable, reusable, or recyclable, and all sustainability resource. We're cruelty-free and vegan. Aw, oh, cute! It's the Wonderland Peonies. I love peonies, so hopefully I like it. What it looks like when you open it. I'm honestly looking for a summer, a summer vibe. So hopefully this is the summer vibe I'm looking for. Oh my God, in the back, it has the painted peonies. It feels like it's painted on. Cute. Oh, they have some, they gave me a sample from Van Gogh. Okay, sunflower pop. Okay, and then in the box, it's a scented candle. Smells good. I love a flowery scent for candles. Is there not like a top to this? Oh. <laughs> this is giving. Let's spray it. It's giving like cute bath and. I've like smelt this scent before. 
I'm trying to compare it for you. It's Wonderland Peonies. Let's see, like the scent. A light fruit floral fragrance for the delicate, dreamy, radiant, and thoughtful. See the like notes. Let's Google it, y'all. Let's Google it. Bullet. Floral Street Peony. It's eighty four dollars at Sephora. I know that's right. Culture free, vegan, flora, and woody. Hey! Stop it! Fragrance notes silicon lemon, pink berries, pink gava, violet, peony accord, raspberry flower, vanilla bean, pink coconut candy, cedar wood, and vetiver. Made without animal products. It's like very summer, very young vibrant i'm trying to decide what it smells like or like close to but like if you're in your early 20s you would like this for like a summertime very like young and vibrant scent i think i'm gonna try it out and see how long it lasts on my skin but thank you floral street super cute i usually like to smell like Ooh, I'm eating jackfruit. It's so good. I love tropical fruit, hence I'm fresh off the boat, babies. Hey, fruit! Would it be... We just had dinner. Super vibes. My stomach hurts. I'm looking at it. is drunk. Shorty had one drink, and she's saying she's drunk. Oh, my face looks good. Better. Pop. We go to New Spa. Um, thanks to New, y'all definitely should check it out. It's called Aesthetica Med Spa. I know that's right. Look at the skin. Natural. <laughs> no makeup on. Oh. No underfoot. No nothing. Let them know. Aesthetica Med Spa. I know that's right. Very cool. Taking my mom to work at the spa. You look so cute, honey. I am hungover, however. Don't know why you're the one. Turn me out of my mind. You don't need no.
car, but <laughs> just put it on TikTok. Baby, is your wine in your body, baby? So crazy. Love in your body, baby. Get what you mean to me. I just wanna let you know. try it to see if it actually works and then my SPF sunscreen that I need for the summertime is for the face it says it doesn't leave no white residue smooth finish it's a 30 SPF and you're supposed to reapply sunscreen every two hours so yeah, cute can't wait to try them just got home from eating lunch with my girlfriend so we're gonna start doing some content i'll see you guys later Thank you. Okay, cheers. 
fire. My brother cannot be brought to, out to public. Look at what he's wearing. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> no, she was looking over there too. She I did kidnap him. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, it's open, right? So I need to put yeah, back inside. Yeah, left open. Let me get myself. Let me get myself. Let me get myself. 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 <laughs> Cheeks don't look fat on this fucking side. Did you get punched in the face? Alright. I take antibiotics. It's okay. He doesn't want to tell uh, social media. You know, my wisdom too pulled out. Fuck you. <laughs> Talking about real life, I don't speak French now. Giving me signs, so I'm gonna take a hit in me. Wait, you're getting a burger. Cute. Cute. Should I start a YouTube? Yeah, do it. Why not? Like How was your birthday? Uh, seven. The following is What's that song? I'm from the West Side. No, what's the song? Oh, uh, Richard I heard that song. <laughs> okay. Okay. So no onions, add avocado. How do you want to cook? Uh, medium well. Medium well. Can I try your uh, crispy calamari? Absolutely. Do you have like a spicy sauce on the side? Not really. No. We have Tabasco and no. chalupa. No, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I don't. I don't know why I love cream. I mean, honestly, when the shit is. Good, I mean, honestly, no. If I want to cut that out, it's okay. When shit is good, it's like amazing. Uh huh. But so when shit is like bad, it's, it's like fucking. It's it's like it goes. So it could be like this, and then like I just didn't know how to swerve it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How do you not know how to swerve a kiss? <laughs> You're so annoying. How do you like not a... know how to be like, no, don't kiss me? Mm -mm. My swerve game is strong. You want some? Um, honestly, I thought this was just a burger. About. He didn't know how to swerve a kiss. How do you swerve a kiss? <laughs> you big face them. <laughs> Bad bitch, <alert. laughs> How do you swerve a kiss? I will swerve someone if they're trying to kiss. It wasn't me. like a. It wasn't like a. Uh, kissing me. It was like a she just jumped on me and saw his hand. I was like, He's lying. He's so lying. He saw that kiss coming. He's a liar. You're such a liar. How do you swerve a kiss? How do you what? Swerve a kiss. Swerve a kiss? Yeah. Uh, Can men really swerve kisses? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one. Exactly. His ex jumped on him and tried to kiss him. And he said he didn't see it coming. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just a man where there's the cloud. No, right? yeah. come on yeah. now. I'm oblivious nine times out of ten, so I guess. Uh-uh. That might be kissing on me. I don't even yeah. know what's going to happen. Okay, it's all of y'all. It's the men. <laughs> No. Like, like, we're taking care of him. Like, no Whoa. way. <laughs> Another set of bitches. <laughs> Stop calling them that. What's this up, is my up? brother. He's he act like he's never seen women ever in his life. I think he has. I went on a Mormon trip one time. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Just ask my brother why do men cheat? Oh my god. So I don't know. And I mean, Mark Manson was. Why do men cheat? And honestly, uh, no, I don't know. It depends yeah, on the been person. You have a strong woman. From the grave, I don't know. Men cheat don't know. if we think we can so run the, over. The problem is, is if we is, think that you'll always you know, forgive us <laughs> and it's always going to be okay well, that's the thing to fuck up, actually, that's why men cheat. It's not okay to cheat. I'm not saying it's okay to cheat. I actually thought about it. It's not okay to hurt that person that you love. What? He's married. I want to ask him. No, no, no. Uh, men cheat because a lot of men cheat because they hurt. Honestly, and they're not hurt because of you. They hurt themselves. Maybe they hate disappointing the woman that they love. That's one thing men hate: disappointing women that they love. And he gave me the sorry excuse that because he felt that I was drifting away and I, I didn't talk to him for three days. That's why he did it. John, men like a backup man. Yeah, we really? Don't, we don't. We want to feel. If we feel like use the backup plan and last the real plan. Every man, no matter who it is, you can be the most loyal man in the world. Every man, has a backup. If his woman is not giving him enough attention, even if it's a thirty-minute backup plan, even if it's a five-minute backup plan, every man. Just, even, if, even, even if there's nobody there, like if that first woman that gives him attention, that's the backup woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could go out and I'll be in a club and that first girl that gives you attention that wants to be like, oh, you're so cute, that's the backup woman. That's the backup It's not right. I don't think it's right. <laughs> But men are, in, men are insecure, bro. We're just insecure in the wrong way. So I was telling my brother, men cheat, because i seen this guy, he said, men cheat because they don't see the value in the relationship that they're in. Or the women that they're with. Oh, I know that they about the women. Okay, so they know the value that they have. Will They know that. They, they just them. don't value their relationship. <laughs> so you go outside of the relationship. Yeah. Because you don't really value what you're gonna lose. So this guy will so in a sense, it's true. Because let's say if you value someone, you put them in this pedestal where it's like I wouldn't want to do anything to jeopardize what I have with this woman, right? So that is like you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to do something. So that is like a sense you put. Right? And you hold her to that standard. But also, men are easy. Bro. Women are not so easy. Bro. I don't, women have emotions, but they will always come back to them. Men, once, men are way more easily broken than women. Women just cry. That is y'all version. Of, that, that is y'all version of being hurt and crying. Men, we, if you coming at us and you dogging us and you like telling us how much of a piece of shit we are, how much you hate us, we're not gonna cry. Bro. You go to another female because we, we're, it's not that we want to go to. Another it's like is she gonna treat me better? Is she gonna say nicer things to me? Friend, help me. You know what I'm like. <laughs> but, Men, are, men, are, men get hurt. A lot of women don't notice the shit they say to men, and they don't even ask. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Shut the fuck up. You think that anything that you say to me doesn't fucking hurt me. Yeah. Women don't believe that the shit you say to men hurts you. And it's because we have a serious face. It's because we're like, we have to take that knife to the chest. We have to take it to the... You just stabbing us with all these hurtful things. And at the end of the day, we're still... Even when the conversation's over in the relationships, we got to remember everything you said. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got to remember that you said that we not this, we not that that and you know what I'm saying you could do better or you could be with somebody better you know what I'm saying like 
that that's something that a man has to we, we take it to the chin we take it to the heart you know what I'm saying we don't hold that against y'all but if a man did that to a woman if I tell you that you were this and that you did that and I can put I, oh, I, I, I can go get this I other I can go get this <laughs> other girl and I can go fly out with this other person y'all would just you would, you would, you would be sweet you know what I'm saying but a man can't do that a man really has to take that to the chin and we gotta rec- we gotta think later on by ourselves when you're finally gone maybe you went home or like I'm taking a shower and I gotta really think about everything that she said and I gotta be like damn like am I like does she really see me like that or does she like she said she loved me but like everything that she said today like does she see me like that does she really think I'm just this a low or a coward or a piece of shit so a lot of women don't think like there's a there's an extra skin behind a man's layer like there's something that y'all don't see that's bleeding you know what I'm saying like there's another layer of a man that women don't see that's hurt you know what I'm saying because we can't we can't do that we can't break down and be vulnerable because women see vulnerable and they like oh he's not as strong so I gotta go to the next person so we gotta do this Never done that. Well, I mean, I've, I've, I've had a situation where I've been vulnerable and I was like, yo, I don't know, please, let's just make this work. And, like, and I'm being the puppy and I'm being the, the sob, and, you know what I'm saying? And, she, and it's like, no. Yeah, she's shitting on me. Like, a man doesn't want to get shitting on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, no man wants to get shitting on So we got to take that to the heart is that we just didn't destroy our whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a, like I said, I got a, my own crib. I got my own car. Nobody pays my bills. You know what I'm saying? And women can make you feel like, you the worst person. Like, like you living on your homie couch, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, there's another layer behind it that a lot of women don't see. You know what I'm saying? It's something that we gotta take to the chin. Where the relationship works or it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It's something you like, damn, I didn't. I believe if you want somebody, go fight for it. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever cheated on someone? No, I Oh, fuck, I can't ask you. You ever cheated before? You've never cheated. Yeah, you're going to heaven, bro. <laughs> you are a little sane. Love that. But have you been with the same person forever? Uh, now, yeah. We've been together since we were 19. So, however many years it is. This man has never cheated. You go. I have cheated. You know, when I know. But it's happened before. I've cheated before. Yeah. No, no. Not something I'm proud of. You know I'm like, people keep on that. I don't think I've ever cheated before. It's <laughs> we just got to, We just talked about it. We just outside. That was not cheating. It was, you did it to her somebody. I was cheating. I guess. It was my vindictive way. Yeah. I, I may have not cheated, but I hurt someone intentionally. Yeah. I wouldn't count it as a cheating. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna box that up? That was a day of me kidnapping Lou. Hence the tank top. Don't kill him for it. I do dress better than this, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Doesn't make sense now Shit just got real, things are getting intense now I hear you talking about real life, I ain't speak fresh now Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead Give me some, so I'm gonna take it in now I hear you up like, do you want to hear me now?
We all love it. We really do. When I look around the room, I see people from all across the United States of America and foreign countries. Uh, if you call me Pops and her Lolly or me Dad, raise your hand. We all know that we all have those kids. But the way you have expanded our reach and brought people into our family is amazing and enormous. I can't thank you more for doing that, for spreading yourself thinner than thin. It's super amazing to watch you grow and develop. I've seen you cry, I've seen you laugh. And we try to celebrate you all the way. Some cases we may have missed tomorrow, but tonight is about friends and family and those you hold here. This is your moment. Cherish it forever. Thank you for everybody who's here. And again, cheers to me. Cheers. 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 A part of what we're trying to do tonight is celebrate her in front of everyone who can make it to the graduation tomorrow because of the ticket requirements. And so what we wanted to do was to have someone that has been a part of, a part of her life in an administrative fashion to put her hood on in representation of her becoming a doctor. Now, I don't know what this means, but it's got to be super, super important. So Kanisha has asked me to uh, set her set the stage for what this is going to be like tomorrow. I'm sure I will fail her at this. Expectation, bro. cool. But the point of the matter is, I'm sure she'll still love me tomorrow. After <laughs> My sister Janet was asking me earlier about like, oh, this is another one of your daughters. This is another one of your daughters. This is another one of your daughters. And I had a chance to introduce her to my granddaughter. Yeah. And so that was inspiring for me to just realize how many people my kids actually touch and how many people they welcome into their family and how many people that have been receptive to our love and how many people have both on us and included us. And it's important. We're here at a place uh, that represents two things that are dear to me. The Buffalo Soldier Museum. One, I, I was a soldier, I am a soldier, I'll always be a soldier. Two, Khadija is interested in helping those who are veterans. And so those two things are really super important in our lives. Um, she's been inspired since she was probably about 22 to help veterans. And I don't know why. Maybe she even just because she knows her dad's kind of cuckoo. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready. Without further ado, and without stretching this out, we'll have a person that's been a mentor, a friend, a leader, Dr. Payton. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming. I really appreciate it. 
wanted this to be. So this is, um, for me, I wanted everyone to show up. I wanted to them to feel honored by being here. For me, this isn't about me. Um, this is about all of you who have supported me along the way. Um, because I wouldn't be here without you. There are times I have cried on the your shoulders. I have prayer warriors here who have prayed over me a few times. I have colleagues and friends who have gone through the struggle with me. I have family and friends who are here who have sacrificed um, when I couldn't be there for certain things. I have my granny here, hello? Hello. <laughs> um, who started, you know, has, has started this generation. I've got future nieces and nephews coming. I've got present nieces and nephews here. Yeah, Ronson, you meant to be all too. Um, <laughs> my baby's here crying, right? My little one. I've got best friends who have shown up for me, who have supported me out, who have given me money for that struggle. I have best friends from high school. Like, this is about me. This is about the support that I had to get here. I wouldn't be here without you. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for your support. Um, and I wanted to read you a little bit about my acknowledgement to my dissertation. I, some of my family's read it, but I haven't really um, put it out yet or shared it. So I want to share that with you all because you guys are so important to me. So. It's Poppins. We see you, baby. You look awesome lubes. With lubes. Dr. B said don't do that. No. I got the face. Brittany, see, hold on. I need your help. The fact that she's doing it. Y'all. I didn't do it on purpose. It is kind of crazy. You're the nicest. Nobody touch me in a right this. Nobody touch me in a crisis. I believed all of your dreams and adoration. You took my heart and my keys and my patience. You took my heart and my slave for decoration. Stick of my love above me, you're the foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never. Hey, we, we made it. Yeah. I had something that you never seen, something that you never been. We made it. But I yeah, went up made. and then I know it's wrong. Just living it for work, 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 work.